Okay, so now in this last step, the um, idea is to uh, generate, uh, configure uh, the simulation to properly open and close the, the gripper. So what we have is, uh, it's again the same, it's a closed chain. Uh, whenever we move the servo crank or the servo gripper crank, we need to drag this left finger and due to the gears, there's a dependency relation between a joint here and a joint here. So whenever this joint rotates, this one has to rotate uh, in the opposite direction. So whenever the, the left finger will uh, move to this uh, position here, the right finger will move on the other way. Okay, so in order to do that, uh, it's again the same. So we have joint four is the actual joint we are interested in. And this has to be part of or child of the uh, gripper base dynamic. Okay. And then we have one chain, which will be that one up to here to the end of the coupler. And then we have another change will be the finger itself. Okay. And then we are going to link them together again with the constraints. So this thing here will move the servo crank. Uh, sorry, no the dynamic object. And this has to be child of the dynamic one. Okay, that's it. And then we have an axis, uh, that one will be child of, yeah, of the gripper servo crank. And then we have the coupler. That's it. And then we have the final joint, that one. Oh, and also the non pure shape of the coupler. That's it. And, uh, and then we have uh, joint 17 that will be child of the gripper of the gripper base. That will be here. And then we will uh, have also the left finger dynamic object will be child of this joint. Okay. And then we just simply need the dummies to connect all together. Let's copy this and let's rename it like left or finger, finger left. And let's copy this again and let's put here tip. And we have to uh, position them to the correct position should be that one. So uh, we move them there, one. Um, then we move the other one. That's it. And then we just simply to link them together. Finger target, that's it. With the dynamics overlap constraint. And then we just simply move one of them to the end of the joint and the other one to the finger. So it has to be moved to finger left in up. And also I need to move this shape here. Finger left, where's finger left? Here is. Okay, and they are linked together. Okay, and now uh, in order to implement this, uh, how to implement the gear for the fingers, we have this joint here. This has to be, right now, is a joint that is in torque force mode, but we have to put it in dependent mode. And we have to enable the hybrid operation because it's dragging or it's going to drag. Actually, let's put it here. It's going to drag a, a dynamic object. So that's why the joint needs to be in hybrid operation. So once we have the dependent mode, we can select here uh, the joint we were trying to uh, Replicate was the number, I think that one, yeah, 17. Okay, which means that this joint here will be 
number 17 and minus one. Okay, let's try. It. Maybe it's the opposite uh, the opposite direction, but it's okay. So and now uh, also this joint needs to be moved to the servo base. Uh, sorry, so the gripper base, which is that one. Okay. And with that, we only need to update our code in order to implement a function with a button to open and close the, uh, the gripper. So I have already uh, prepared some code in which is simply there's a variable which is called gripper open that will set the position to 90 or gripper when it's false, it will set the position to 60 degrees, will be the actual um, open position. and and then it will set okay it's open and but if it's open then we'll set to the closed position and then we say okay it's it's closed okay so we have to copy this function here somewhere else let's say here and also uh, this part here is just simply to create a button called the on gripper function so this will be the last line whoops sorry uh, that one okay and uh, and then uh, this needs joint for which means that we need the handle and by default let's say we want to be a uh, close so we just simply set the position to 90 degrees which it's close position it's the actual position right now okay and if it's everything it's okay let me just check make sure the joint four is enabled yeah so if everything's fine it's opening closing the gripper moving the parts properly okay and that's it okay thank you very much